trained over 5,500 men for a secret mission in tanks right in this area. In this This is the reason I traveled 188 miles to Quartzsite, Arizona to check out the grave of High Jolly. You see, High Jolly was hired in 1857 as a camel herder in the U.S. Army's short-lived historic Camel Corps by Lieutenant Edward F. Beale in his expedition to chart a wagon road across New Mexico and Arizona, ending at the Colorado River. In 1861, the Civil War commenced, ending the day of the Camel Corps. High Jolly returned to this very area, trying his hand at mining, packing, scouting, and delivering the jackass mail and selling water to travelers. Talk about being in the middle of no man's land. This next stop I'm taking, I'm leaving the car back there. I don't know if you can see it. I left it running, but I locked it because it's getting warm. But uh, we're gonna hit a geoglyph. We just stopped at High Jolly's Pyramid there in where he's buried in the cemetery, in the High Jolly Cemetery at that. And um, I gotta watch it because I really messed up my knee on a hike before and so I'm taking it very slow through here, but I'm telling you what, I think this is the 95. And uh, boy, you're out here all by yourself, folks. You are out here all by yourself. That's why it's always great to take a friend because I think the site is about a couple hundred yards from where you park the car. And then uh, you're a good nine and a half miles down this road then you turn left to go towards Quartzsite, and that's another four and a half to five miles. So you're roughly 15 miles out in the middle of no man's land. Hopefully the knee holds up. All right, so I'm almost there. I'm gonna pop this drone up. It should uh, draw every huge fly that's around here to the buzzing noise of the drone. Again, I left my glasses back in the car, but I'm not going back to get those suckers. So, all right, here we are. Check out this geoglyph right here. Woo! It is beautiful. It's all roped off, very well preserved out here in the The geoglyph before you tells an important story. Native Americans of the lower Colorado River region have oral traditions which were handed down through generations. This geoglyph may tell the mythological story of a god who thrusted a spear into the ground to make the mighty Colorado River.
Oh, there she is. But it's getting warm. This is a little bit farther out than I thought it was from the town or from the Interstate 10. So let's see. Let's see if I can keep on track. I have arrived at Camp Baus. That's what the locals say. That's how you pronounce it. Camp Baus in Baus, Arizona. This is where General Patton trained over 5,500 men for a secret mission in tanks right in this area. And this, this remains secret for years. You can actually go out into the desert here and find the old tank tracks. So uh, again, stay tuned. Very quiet, very quiet. Let's go check it out. Stay tuned. All right, let's check out each one of these plaques. We have the 739th Tank Battalion. We have the 738th Tank Battalion. We have the 526th Armor Infantry Battalion. Um, and uh, over here on this one here, it says Monument Row. Uh, it says here, we bring to a close. We tried to find. We must now impose units not found. And that is the 748th Tank Battalion the 150th Station Hospital, the 538th Ordnance Company, the 166th Quartermaster, and the 629th Quartermaster. Uh, these plaques are really awesome. They have plaques a little bit farther down that way also. All right, so let's go back here and check out some of these tanks they got here. Uh, two tanks right down here amongst all these beautiful plaques uh, you got some murals on some uh, on some cement walls back here. You actually have a museum across the railroad tracks, but nice again All right, this here says the m60 Patton tank Look at this thing It's awesome that in this town on this corner, which feels like the middle of nowhere they have an unbelievable piece of history sitting here from World War II. Again, a secret training mission was done right here about 30 miles down the road in the desert and they have set up a really awesome, awesome spot here with all of these plaques here dedicated to all of these tank battalions. should be back um, in the valley by 1.30. It looks like it's going to be at 2 hours and 26 minutes from where I'm at. It's roughly saying it's only 180 miles, but uh, roads that I'm going down now are like 35 and 45 miles per hour because they're just, if your car's sick, you don't want to come down this particular road. Um, but what a, what a great time for really my last uh, big Arizona adventure. Prior to moving to uh, the great state of Texas to start filming the history of Texas. I'm really looking forward to that. Appreciate everyone who follows me. We're still going to be at the same location, folks. Arizona Timeless Tours is just going to change the name to Aztec, a, the AZ-TEX, and uh, we will merge all the Arizona, Arizona stuff with the, uh, the new Texas history. So uh, same spot, same podcast, same everything, same time, same station, folks. But what a great day today. Had a great time out here all over the uh, court sites area it's I just it's been a, a fabulous day uh, weather has been outstanding though it says it's uh, it's not even close to noon yet I don't think and, and we're at 91 degrees feels pretty warm but uh, heading home thanks for joining me for this episode of the Arizona timeless tourist I greatly appreciate it folks till next time take care